you know, this 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 revolution is filled with so many ironies, really. Uh, first, you tell us that it is manly to keep your word. All right, if you are a man, you keep your word. And now all of the black people in this country are demanding, and even the black people in the whole world are demanding, is that you keep your word. You told us we were free. Well, then show us that we're free. You told us that there is justice, equality for all in this country. Well, then just stick to your word and let us see the justice and equality for all. Or else admit to us that you're not a man. You're a word. You're afraid of us. You're afraid to give us equal stand. You're afraid that if you give us equal ground, that we will match you and we will override you. dignity of the human soul and begins to judge others not on the basis of their being persons but on the basis of race, creed, economic status, that is prejudice. for the pursuit of happiness. He merely exists.
to devise some kind of method or strategy to offset some of the events or re a repetition of the events that have taken place here in Los Angeles recently, we have to go to the root. We have to go to the cause. Dealing with the condition itself is not enough. And it is because of our effort toward getting straight to the root that people oftentimes think we are dealing in hate. We are oppressed. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression an exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against the common enemy.